Given an amount of substance, several properties can be determined. These include mass, number of moles, temperature, volume, color, concentration, viscosity, pressure, and various properties relating to energies. But what happens if the amount of substance increases? Will any of the properties already mentioned change? It should be obvious that some of these will change, such as the number of moles, mass, and volume, while others like color, temperature, and boiling or melting points will not be different if there is more substance. The properties that are not affected by the amount of substance are called intensive properties, while those that are affected are called extensive properties. Extensive properties include those already mentioned, as well as many relating to energy. It may be easier to see this if we include the common units for each property. The more substance we have, the more energy the system will contain. Another consideration of certain extensive properties is that we can divide by mass, and we are left with specific properties. While specific properties are derived from extensive properties, not depending on the amount of substance, the result is now a value that is dependent on the amount of substance present. When looking up data in property tables, many of these properties, volume, enthalpy, energies, and heat capacities, are given as specific properties.